what is going on guys welcome to another video if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know who i am my name is jeremy and welcome to jeremy's wild world so guys you saw from today's title today's video is going to be a very special unboxing now this unboxing is going to be consisting of some isopods that i have been on the search for for a very very long time and this being of course the well-known and well-loved Cubaris rubber duckies. Now, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Jack for helping me find a seller here in the UK. Um, so I'll be showing you guys the unboxing as well as showing off the isopods and the enclosure that they're going to be temporarily housed in. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the intro. So before I get into today's video, guys, I just wanted to quickly say, according to my YouTube statistics, a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. Now, without further ado guys, let's get into today's video, shall we? So guys, getting into today's unboxing, I am super, super excited to finally have some rubber duckies in my collection. I've been looking at the species for so, so long, but let's not chat too, too much and let's just get right into the box. Now, these duckies have probably been the cheapest duckies I have seen in a very, very long time, if ever. I got seven of these guys for 50 pounds and i won't be saying the seller's name today simply because i don't know if he wants to be known or not so i won't be saying that today but let's see if we can see any here oh my god oh my god oh my god look guys look there's an amber one look at that wow that's an amber ducky right there you can tell it's an amber ducky because on the back it's orange and not brown but oh my god guys getting into here Oh, I need to open this like as soon as possible. So, so excited. So I already saw one. Let's see if we can find any more. Oh, oh my God, guys. Look at this beautiful isopod. Oh my goodness. Guys, I am completely lost for words. Like the camera isn't focusing in. There we go, but guys, look at these things oh my goodness oh oh wow look there's more running down here oh my god duckies everywhere oh my goodness guys i i'm so sorry if i keep repeating myself but honestly i have not been this excited in such such a long time oh my god rubber duckies look at these oh look at them all running down here here's a bigger one and these came in such a good size as well let me see if i can just put this one onto my hand just here and wait for him to uncurl maybe oh just oh look at him oh i don't know if it, this is a male or female specifically but i just want it to uncurl so you can see it walking around and stuff but let me just show you the face of these little guys if you just look at the face you can see why they call them proper duckies just look at that face oh my god these are the cutest isopods ever oh my god guys like this is this is too much for me <laughs> this is too too much i'm just gonna show you guys them just a little bit more just because i am over the moon right now these are such a good size as well wow i'm again i'm sorry if i keep repeating myself but just look at these guys absolutely stunning isopods but yeah guys let's stop talking about how good they look and let's get them rehoused so guys, the enclosure that these beautiful, beautiful rubber ducky isopods are going into is this food tub right here. As you can see, uh, simply just drilled with some holes at the top. Now, the reason why I haven't done cross ventilation for these guys is because they don't need a lot of uh, ventilation. They do prefer a more humid environment. And the substrate is a mix of cocoa fiber with topsoil, mostly topsoil and some moss on the back and yes they are missing their limestone i was not expecting to get these guys so limestone is on the way but for now as a supplement i have put a nice piece of cuttle bone in there for them and this really nice piece of bark that's quite uh, hollow underneath and a bark piece underneath just to keep it up and yes yeah, so basically i'm just going to be chucking these guys inside the enclosure but just one more look 
for you guys before I put them in just because they are absolutely stunning isopods just look at these guys they are amazing but yeah so they'll be going into this enclosure and hopefully I will be getting some little babies from them soon just check and see if there's no babies left in here but yeah so you can see them just running on the top here absolutely stunning isopods and I am so 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 happy that I finally have these little guys in my collection oh my goodness but yeah guys that's pretty much the end of today's video I hopefully will be updating these guys for you soon but yeah that's the end of today's video guys let's get into the outro So guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the unboxing and rehousing of my brand new Kubara's Rubber Duckies. Now, again, thank you Jack for helping me find these isopods for such a good deal. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you guys feel like it, click the link down in the description below to Jack's Facebook page. It's an isopod in Millipede group. So if you guys feel like joining it and you're from the UK, feel free to do so by clicking the link down below. Now, I also wanted to mention something before I end today's video, guys. I know there's a couple of things missing from the enclosure. For example, rotting white wood. Since recording the unboxing, I have gone out and collected some rotting wood. So I will be adding that into the enclosure. As well as some limestone, I will be in the process of purchasing some limestone. Because I know Kubara's rubber duckies do like their limestone. But for now, the cuttlefish will do as a calcium source. So that's the end of today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you would click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. I would also really, really appreciate if you guys would click the link down in the description below to my Instagram page, Jeremy's Wild World underscore. I post pictures and videos of the inverts and animals that I keep when I don't like upload on YouTube. So guys, that's all for me today. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.